क्वेश्चन वेन मस्ट ए ड्राइवर स्लो डाउन फॉर ए स्कूल जोन ऑप्शन नंबर वन ऑन स्कूल डेज बिटवीन सेवन ए एम एंड फोर पी एम वेन चिल्ड्रेन आर प्रेजेंट एंड साइंस आर पोस्टेड ऑप्शन नंबर टू ऑन वीकेंड्स ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री ओनली ड्यूरिंग रिसेस ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ऑन स्कूल डेज बिटवीन नाइन ए एम एंड फाइव पी एम वेन चिल्ड्रेन आर प्रेजेंट एंड साइंस आर पोस्टेड The answer is option number one. On school days between seven a.m. and four p.m., when children are present and signs are posted. Note: When approaching a marked school zone between seven a.m. and four p.m. on days when school is in operation and children are present, a driver must discontinue wireless or cell phone use, unless using a hands-free device that may include the use of a single-sided headset. Reduce speed to twenty miles per hour. and stop and yield the right of way to any children or adults in the crosswalk area question for what distance should a continuous turn signal be given when making a left or right turn in a business or residential district option number 1 not less than 50 feet before turning option number 2 not less than 75 feet before turning option number 3 not less than 100 feet before turning Option number four, not less than two hundred feet before turning. The answer is option number three, not less than hundred feet before turning. Note, in a business or residential area, a driver must give a continuous turn signal for at least hundred feet before turning. In other areas, the signal must be given at least two hundred feet before turning. Question. A driver may be charged with aggravated DUI if he or she, option number one, is involved in a DUI crash resulting in death or personal injury, option number two, commit a DUI while driving a school bus, option number three, receives a DUI after a previous history of reckless homicide, option number four, all of the above. The answer is option number four. all of the above note drivers may be charged with aggravated dui if they are involved in a death or personal injury crash while driving under the influence have received a third or subsequent dui committed dui while driving a school bus with children or operating a vehicle for hire such as a limousine committed dui without a valid driver's license permit or vehicle insurance received a dui after a previous history of reckless homicide or aggravated dui involving a death question drivers are required to file proof of financial responsibility if option number 1 they receive an unsatisfied court judgment related to a crash option number 2 their license was suspended due to an uninsured crash option number 3 they have been convicted of three or more insurance violations option number 4 all of the above the answer is option number 4 all of the above note proof of financial responsibility may include a certificate of insurance sr22 a bond or a deposit of securities such as stock certificates The SR22 is filed directly with the Secretary of State by the insurance company. The Secretary of State monitors insurance coverage for a period of time specified by law. Failure to renew insurance coverage or cancellation of insurance will result in driver's license suspension. Question: A merge sign means driver should be prepared to change lanes or allow other traffic to come into their lane. Option number one: True. Option number two, false. The answer is option number one, true. Note: This sign tells a driver that two lanes of traffic going the same direction will soon merge into one lane. Driver should be ready to either change lanes or allow other traffic to merge into their lane. Merge signs may appear on expressways just before expressway ramps. The driver on the expressway should slow down to let the driver on the ramp merge. Question 
What should a driver do when approaching a traffic control signal that is not in operation? Option 1. Come to a full stop and yield the right of way before entering the intersection. Option 2. If the intersection is clear, the driver does not need to stop. Option 3. Drive quickly through the intersection to get out of the way of other vehicles. The answer is option number 1. Come to a full stop and yield the right of way before entering the intersection. Note: When traffic control signals are not working, a driver must always treat the intersection as an all-way stop by coming to a complete stop unless directed otherwise by law enforcement. The driver must then look and yield the right of way before entering an intersection. Question. Illinois law requires that headlights be on when atmospheric conditions require the use of windshield wipers. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number one, true. Note. Illinois law requires a driver to use the vehicle's headlights when operating the windshield wipers. When rain begins to fall lightly, water, dust, oil and leaves cause the roadway to become slippery. A driver should take the following precautions when driving in rain. Turn off the cruise control and increase the following distance. Take special precautions on curves, turns and while braking. Slow down to avoid hydroplaning. Question. Turn signals must be visible for 300 feet. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 1. True. Note. Vehicles except motorcycles, trailers and semi-trailers must have right and left turn signals on the front and rear visible from 300 feet. Question. What is the penalty for being convicted of illegally passing a stop school bus? Option number 1. A suspension of driving privileges. Option number 2. A suspension of the vehicle registration. Option number 3. A thirty dollar fine. The answer is option number one. A suspension of driving privileges. Note A conviction for passing a stop school bus with flashing lights and the stop arm extended will result in the suspension of an individual's driver's license. If the owner of the vehicle were not driving when the offense occurred, they must provide the state's attorney's office with the name of the person driving the vehicle or the vehicle registration will be suspended for three months. Question. A driver may pass another vehicle by driving on the shoulder of the road. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number two, false. Note. Driving off the pavement or main travel part of the road is not allowed when passing another vehicle on the right or the left. Drivers may pass on the right but not on the shoulder except for authorized vehicles. When they have enough room on a two-lane roadway and when the vehicle being passed is making or is about to make a left turn. On a one-way street or on a roadway with two or more clear lanes in each direction. At an intersection widened for this purpose. Question. What should drivers do when approaching a construction area? Option number one. Increase their speed to get out of the way quickly. Option number two. Slow down, stop all wireless telephone communications and yield the right of way. Option number 3. Honk their horn several times to alert individuals working in the area of their presence. The answer is option number 2. Slow down, stop all wireless telephone communications and yield the right of way. Note. When approaching or entering a highway construction or maintenance area, also known as work zones, Illinois law requires motorists to slow down, discontinue wireless or cell phone use, unless using a hands-free device that may include the use of a single-sided headset. Ill to any authorized vehicles or workers in the area, change to a lane away from the workers when possible and proceed with caution. Question. When opening your driver's side door in a road with oncoming vehicle and bicycle traffic, you should Option 1. Open the vehicle door by reaching across with your right hand to get a better view of the vehicle and bicycle traffic approaching from behind. Option 2. 
open the vehicle door only when it does not interfere with the vehicle and bicycle traffic approaching from behind option 3 open the vehicle door with your left hand and then check for oncoming vehicle and bicycle traffic option 4 both a and b the answer is option 1 open the vehicle door by reaching across with your right hand to get a better view of the vehicle and bicycle traffic approaching from behind Note: After parking and before opening vehicle doors, a motorist should first check for bicyclists. Drivers should consider reaching with their right hand to open the vehicle door as this gives them a better opportunity to check their surroundings for oncoming vehicles and bicyclists. Question: A driver does not need to allow as much distance when following a motorcycle as when following a car. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 2. False. Note. A vehicle driver should allow at least 3 to 4 seconds following distance when behind a motorcycle so the motorcyclist has enough time to maneuver in an emergency. In dry conditions, motorcycles can stop more quickly than a car. Vehicle drivers should dim their headlights when following all vehicles including motorcycles. Motorcycles can stop in a shorter distance than a car. A motorcyclist's ability to stop quickly also may depend on rider's experience and training. Question. When following a truck at night, it is important for drivers to dim their vehicle's headlights. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 1. True. Note. Always dim headlights when following a truck at night. Bright lights will blind the drivers of large vehicles when they reflect off the large side mirrors. Vehicles drivers should dim their headlights when following all vehicles including motorcycles. Question. Drivers whose license has been revoked as a result of DUI must meet several requirements, including an evaluation for alcohol and drug problems and paying a reinstatement fee to regain their license. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number one. True. Note. Before driving privileges are restored, the person must undergo an alcohol or drug evaluation, successfully complete a rehabilitation or alcohol or drug education program, have an administrative hearing with the Secretary of State, pay a reinstatement fee and or meet other requirements. A DUI conviction also requires a driver to file financial responsibility insurance for three years. Question. Drivers convicted of a mandatory insurance violation will Option 1. Lose their driving privileges for three months. Option 2. Lose their driving privileges for six months. Option 3. Lose their driving privileges for one year. The answer is option 1. Lose their driving privileges for 3 months. Note. Individuals convicted of a mandatory insurance violations will lose their driving privileges for a minimum of 3 months and be required to pay a $100 reinstatement fee with no driving permit available. Question. A driver has 30 minutes to report a crash after it occurs. Option 1. True. Option 2. False. The answer is option number one. True. Note. A driver has 30 minutes to report a crash after it occurs. If drivers are involved in a crash, they should notify the police immediately. Many towns and cities require a report if a crash occurs within their limits. If an officer is not at the scene of the crash, a report must be made at the nearest police station as soon as possible. If in a rural area, the country ship or Illinois state police must be notified. If the driver is unable to make the report and there is a passenger, the passenger must make the report. Question. A driver approaching a vehicle with a slow moving vehicle sign should slow down and only pass when safe and legal to do so. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 1. True. Note. Slow moving vehicle. A vehicle displaying this sign is moving slowly. 
A driver must slow down and may pass only when safe and legal to do so. Question An orange sign means driver should be alert, adjust the speed and be prepared to stop if necessary. Option number 1 True Option number 2 False The answer is option number 1 True Note Orange is used for warning signs usually found in construction or maintenance zones along streets and highways. These signs alert a driver to possible dangers ahead due to construction and maintenance projects. Question When approaching a stop sign that is not marked by a crosswalk, drivers should stop their vehicles before entering the intersection. Option number 1 True Option number 2 False the answer is option number one. True. Note. An eight-sided octagon sign tells a driver to always make a full stop at the stop line. If there is no stop line, the driver should stop before entering the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, the driver should stop before entering the intersection. A driver should yield the right of way to pedestrians and approaching traffic. Question. Drivers may pass on a two-lane roadway marked with a single solid yellow line on the side of the center line. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number two, false. Note, when there is a solid and a broken yellow line separating two lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions, a driver may pass only when the broken yellow line is nearest the driver's lane. Question. Drivers are allowed to leave the roadway to avoid a traffic signal. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number two, false. Note. Traffic signals and pavement markings must be obeyed unless a police or traffic control officer directs otherwise. A driver may never leave the roadway to avoid a traffic signal. Question. TVs and video recording monitors that can be seen from the driver's seat are permitted when the vehicle is in motion. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 2. False. Note. Televisions or video recording monitors that can be seen from the driver's seat are prohibited while the vehicle is in motion. Watching or streaming a live video on a cell phone is a violation of Illinois law. Question. When passing another vehicle, a driver should wait until the entire car the driver just passed is visible in the rear view mirror before turning back into the right hand lane. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 1. True. Note. Drivers must use caution when passing another vehicle. On a two-lane highway, the left lane should be clearly visible and free of oncoming traffic for a distance great enough to permit passing. Drivers should not turn back into the right-hand lane until the entire vehicle they have just passed is visible in the rear-view mirror. Drivers must return to their lane before getting within 200 feet of an oncoming vehicle. The driver of the vehicle being passed must not increase speed until the passing vehicle has completed its maneuver. Question. A driver must give the right or left turn signal when changing lanes. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 1. True. Note. When moving a vehicle from the right hand lane to the left hand lane, driver should check for traffic behind the vehicle and to the left by turning their head and visually assessing the area. If the area is clear, the driver should give the left turn signal and carefully move into the left lane. When moving a vehicle from the left-hand lane to the right-hand lane, drivers should check for the traffic behind the vehicle and to the right by turning their head and visually assessing the area. If the area is clear, the driver should give the right turn signal and carefully move into the right lane. Question. It is legal for anyone to talk on the phone if using a hands-free device while driving unless under age 19. Option number 1. True. Option number 2. False. The answer is option number 1. True. Note. 
Elena's law prohibits the use of handheld cell phones, texting, or using other electronic communications while operating a motor vehicle. Hands-free device or Bluetooth technology is allowed for persons under 19 and older. Question: When an authorized vehicle using its sirens and flashing lights approaches a vehicle, the driver should pull to the right-hand edge of the roadway and wait for the emergency vehicle to pass. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number one, true. Note. When being approached by an emergency vehicle using audible and visual signals, lights and or sirens, Illinois law requires motorists to immediately pull to the right side of the road and allow the emergency vehicle to pass. In some cases, a complete stop may be necessary to allow the emergency vehicle to pass. If stopped at an intersection with two-way traffic, remain stopped until the emergency vehicle passes through the intersection. Question. Drivers must yield to pedestrians in an unmarked crosswalk. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number one, true. Note, a driver must yield when a pedestrian is in an unmarked crosswalk on the driver's side of the roadway and there are no traffic control signals. Question. After being pulled over by law enforcement, a driver should immediately exit the vehicle and quickly approach the officer's squad car. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number two, false. Note. If stopped by law enforcement, you should stay in your vehicle with both hands clearly in sight on the steering wheel. Question. A railroad crossbox sign should be treated the same as a L sign. Option number one, true. Option number two, false. The answer is option number one, true. Note, railroad crossbox sign. If a railroad crossing has more than one track, the number of tracks is on the sign below the crossbox. This is considered a ill sign and the driver must ill the right of way to any oncoming trains and railroad equipment.